Okay, so welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to add some color to our painting. So straight away, I'm going to um, pick up um, a pastel brush um, and I'm going to start adding some color probably in the background at first and then we'll start to build the um, that color up as we get towards the the foreground so um, we want some green on the sides of these mountains but I've selected a, a kind of blue green at the moment um, because in the distance this um, this wouldn't be a bright green due to um, due to the atmosphere so we're selecting a blue green to drop in and this is going to um, also help to give the um, the feel of distance um, within these these rocks um, and these mountains. Now I'm just starting to break up the shapes of these a little bit, um, and what we're trying to do is just draw around um, on the sides of these uh, rocks and leave some of the dark patches. Now by doing that the, um, the dark patches look like the the stones and the and the rocks on the side of the uh, like the hillside and then the, um, the the green is now starting to look like the the grass so we're actually painting um, negative space. Now boost the, um, the the color of the green a little bit as we start to make our way towards the uh, the mid ground. And again, I'm not just going to just paint this straight in. We're looking to create textures and small little artifacts that are lying around on the sides of these um, these hillsides, these mountains. We want to leave a little bit of that um, dark value that's um, already there. And we're not thinking about light um, that much at the moment. This is literally just colour. Um, we're using very similar values that are already there and we're not thinking about highlights or, or shadows really at this point. I'm using the uh, press key there just to uh, color pick the value and then I'm changing the, the color so I've picked the value on uh, on the side of this um, this mountain here and then changed it to a slightly brighter color um, using the green I'm now dropping in some of this um, some of this grass so we're looking to create random shapes here and again I'm trying to create some uh, areas where it looks like there's stones and rocks lying around using the negative uh, space. Now we're getting into some of this foreground area. The the contrast is, uh, is a lot higher and the, the value is a lot darker. Thinking about the direction of these, um, the landscape and these rocks. Um, dropping in a few a few lines here and there. You can 
can see this is a slightly warmer green we're getting up into the the yellow um, yellow greens and this is going to take a, a little while just to block all this in so we can speed this up Now going to add some some sandy yellows to um, to the sides of the river, give the impression that there's a uh, there's a bank of some sort or or a, a beach maybe. And again, I'm not just going to just block this in with um, one big brush stroke. We want to break up this space and give it a little bit of texture and in doing so we we are leaving behind some of the um, original values of those um, darker browns that we started with this this just helps to um, to again give that effect that there are rocks lying around and the river is still on its separate layer so we're actually painting underneath it we don't need to worry about painting over the, um, the, the water of the river I'm just going to go a little bit darker as we start to make it our way into this um, foreground Darker still, so we don't have the uh, the high contrast. And this is just our our basic basic color color pass, as it were. Um, I'm just going to take that edge out with the eraser because um, that's the cliff face that's in the foreground. pick some of these greens and just block in a little bit more start to add a, a little bit of texture in the background with some of those lighter blues break up some of these um, bigger darker shapes And our snow is on its separate layer so we don't have to worry about that uh, and now add a little bit of a darker value just to bring out a little bit of the detail on um, on this this big mountain in the background this is all pretty quick and, and rough um, this this is a, a speed painting um, the whole thing won't be any more than about an hour and a half and just throw a little bit more texture um, on this area over the back Now using some of these lighter blues we can um, separate some of the edges there and blend the snow layer in. So the edges are 
edges of the uh, the snow layer were a little bit smooth, and, and while they can be um, really smooth, the way the uh, the snow does sit on the mountain side, I just want to drop some more detail in there. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this now. Okay, so this is starting to look more like a landscape now. Try to blend some of the uh, bottom area in. Now I'm going to go back to the pointed stump. Um, remember this is a blending tool and I'm going to collapse my snow layer and now I can blend the the original drawing with that layer and those colors Now if you scan across the painting and you see any areas that stand out that don't quite look right, you can just um, blend those in and they'll they'll kind of disappear and uh, and it will it will pull together as a painting. As I said before, you can actually drag colours around depending on the amount of pressure you apply when, when using this brush. Just blending in some of these um, areas a little bit more. blending in some of this foreground area down here. We can speed this up a little bit. And that's about it. I'm pretty happy with that, so uh, we're going to leave that there for uh, for this video. In the next video, we're going to introduce a bit more light and shadow.